Hello. And welcome back to the Dark Mod. No, you ruined everything. There we go. We have a key to the mansion. We need to get some money to move the hell out of this podunk town. And uh, this key may be the key to it. But we're probably going to go up instead of in the front door because going in the front door is probably a really, really dumb idea. Is there somebody up there? And you know me, I only have very intelligent ideas. That's all I ever have. No, it's just a... Just yet. Okay. Well, since I have a rope arrow... Or two... Um... The game crashed on me. I don't even know what to say. But we're back again and we have to start all over. Again. Ah. Well, that's fine. So, last time, we were able to glitch through a building. We climbed up into its innards, and it had no innards. And this time, it, the game completely crashed on us. To the desktop and everything. Hmm. Let's save here. Just in case. Boom. Nailed it. Yeah, baby. But of course, I still want the front door key, because... That's how I roll. You, you coming up here? There you are. That was me. <laughs> at least it's wheelchair accessible. There's that at the very least. Very shiny. I'm gonna save again. Just in case there's like a memory leak or something, then I can save myself into a corner. That'd be great. Uh -oh. I'll take that. All right, now to pinch out this light. Oop! I'll have to deal with that. Some very shiny marble. Wonder how expensive that was. Uh. Seriously. Why you were in here? Lord Seven usually expects us to stoke his fire while he sleeps, and I, well, I suppose I just assumed that he would, you know, be expecting someone. Huh? Hmm. Mm, indeed. Listen, I can't allow anyone to know about this. At least not until the queen has left. Huh. Well, that's great. Right, well, I'll just go above my work then. So the lord's dead. The captain wants it kept secret. Didn't want to be disturbed. Hmm? No. Ah! Mm. Why are you going to his office? Hmm. Why is his office named Office? It's 
is really risky. But I want that key. Why would he have a key to his office? Ma'am, if you'd come with me, please. A lot. Why are you so beige? I'm not gonna be able to knock him out. I don't know if I want to yet. I guess he just went through here. Hmm. This is very suspicious. Maybe I should look into this. Not really going to stay around for any need of blackmail money, but information can be sold sometimes for quite a bit. Nothing. Aha! Finally, somebody who knows good art. What do we have here? Lord Zelma, I feel that in my duty to bring... It is my duty. Wow. Knocked that one out of the park. To bring to your attention that felonies and various instances of misconduct are seemingly on the rise in Etten. The citizens of Gatwick are becoming increasingly unruly, no doubt on account of their current circumstances. This is partially reflected in the increasing number of unsolved criminal cases and also by a persistent decrease in the morale of my officers. The size of my crew... Wait, is this... Captain Braxton. Oh, Captain Braxton. This is partially reflected in the increasing number of unsolved criminal cases and also by a persistent decrease in the morale of my officers. The size of my crew is limited as it is... As it is and I... What? Simply cannot afford to surrender any more of my personal personnel on this account. Furthermore, a number of reports indicate an alarming number of new incidents involving disobedience among servants and escalation in the occurrence of violent crime. There, These are but a few recent examples which compel me to urge you that if this trend continues unabated, I dare not speculate on the state of your reputation among our benefactors, nor on the outcome of the upcoming election. This said, it is with some measurable degree of success that the builders have been enlisted to aid us with our investigative efforts and to patrol the streets of Gatwick in an attempt to detour all but the most determined lawbreakers. However, given these uncertain circumstances, I implore you to bestow upon or unto me the authority to implement acute countermeasures such that we might thwart the impending insurrection. Respectfully, Captain Braxton. Hello? The way he writes that, I don't know if Captain Braxton actually killed him. That's what I thought when I came in. I'm like, well, that's suspicious. Lord Mayor Belmer? Sure. The hour is late, and I would compel to caution thee that this be beest thy last remaining attempt to rep repaireth thy reputation. Tis becoming unmistakably plain that thine constituency act discontent or art discontent with thine inability to aid them in thine interests. Should our scheme flounder, I shall... Serrets? <laughs> Serrates. What is that word? C-E-R-T-E-S. Sure. By addressing some new administrator unbeknownst to me before longeth. As agreed, I will embark on my own journey from the Holy Builder's Citadel tomorrow to attend your ceremony. Might I take this opportunity to offer a small piece of admonishment? Faileth in thy pursuit to convince the queen, and thou shalt anon findeth thyself back on the streets from whence thou camest. With mine own sympathy, Archbishop Blake. Ah, so he's a puppet. He was a, a puppet um, mayor. Lord Zelmer. 
I would like to thank you for your generous offer to partake in the commemoration of Etten's establishment. It has been quite some time since I last toured the region, and my council informs me that it would mean only a modest voyage on my part. However, I will confess that it is with some apprehension that I tentatively accept your invitation. I have been informed that Archbishop Blake will also be in attendance, and, as you may be aware, I bear no love for the builders, nor for the barbaric treatment of their convicts. If I am to occupy the same room as the Archbishop, I insist that seating arrangements be made such that I might be spared the sight of him and his congregation. That aside, I was highly intrigued by your account of the festivities planned for the evening, not least by your mention of one Mr. Rallant. The prospect of once again witnessing him and his fabled music is inordinately enticing. I am a fond admirer of Mr. Rallant, and I would loathe to miss such a rare opportunity. This, then, leads me to another decisive matter. If Mr. Rallant is to honor us with his presence, then I require that he be treated as an honorary guest. Furthermore, I would insist that you ensure that both he and his possessions be safeguarded from any harm or pilfering throughout his stay with you. I eagerly await your acknowledgment of my stipulations. Yours sincerely, Diaton Diatamia, Diataima, Hima, Diutima. Sure. <laughs> Me and my pronunciations work real good. So it seems like, just from the little we read, the only one that has a grudge is the Archbishop. I'll have to get that key some other time. I don't want to risk being caught by him. Why would he come back in here, though? Let's turn that off just in case I get surprised. I just got multiple... What? He's got multiple telescopes. Lord Zelma, I present to you my humble gift for Her Majesty. I trust that you will deliver them to her with words of my deepest humility, gratitude, and respect. I am truly honored to have such distinguished admirers. Enclosed, you will find two cylindrical recordings which I had fashioned prior to my departure. Oh, they look like telescopes to me. I am, however, moderately concerned that the delicate cylinders might have sustained damage during my journey here and since my arrival. I have noted that you are in possession of at least one gramophone. In order to avoid needless disappointment, our dear queen, I, disappointing our dear queen, I ask that you assess the integrity of the recordings before presenting them to her. Carefully place the cylinder of your choosing on top of the circular platter and you should hear music emanating from the gramophone. When you do it, I cannot overstate the importance of your listening in absolute solitude. These recordings have been composed exclusively for her, and I would hate for anyone else to have lain ear to them in advance. With anticipation, relent. What? Is that music? Might just be the quality, but it seems very muddy. This is more atmospheric than anything, right? I swear, if this is copyrighted, I'm gonna be really pissed. They're very short, too. I took it off. Uh, excuse me. I take that. Thank you. Are you reading an old newspaper? Royal Voyage. The Queen's Royal Council has announced that Her Majesty is organizing a royal voyage to Etten later this year, where she intends to partake in the town's commemoration of its 200th year anniversary. The onset of Her Majesty's cruise is to commence on the 7th of October on account of an invitation extended to the Queen by Mayor of Etten, Lord Zalma. Thousands will grow, well grown, 
What? Ornamental forest trees suitable for roadside parks, cemeteries, or avenues ranging from 9 to 16 feet. To be sold cheap. An excellent opportunity to gentlemen planting. To gentlemen plant? Do you plant the gentlemen or are the gentlemen doing the planting? Applied to Walter Thouse Bridgeport. Okay. Home sweet home. The sweetest houses in the town are the... I was just reading. This is what you get for re two, two, two times in a row. That are you? I thought I said. And, oh man. Guess we're doing this again. But two times in a row, I got screwed by reading. Never read. Also, also, as the children say, yeet. I, that was more intentional throwing, but you know what I mean. I yeeted that, and I yeeted it hard. I might just gas this guy. I don't know what happened. I just found him there, lying completely still. I don't believe you. Well, you must have heard or seen something. I didn't. Oh, I came in here to... I Stoke his fire wood. Wait, what? If you want privacy, then why are you in here? This conversation, I swear. I don't know. How do you not know your own actions? Uh, these didn't have like a invisible thing to it, did they? An invisible objective? I wonder if you can do that. Use them as like, um, quest markers or something. Listen, I can't allow anyone to know about this. At least not until the queen has left. Hmm. Oh okay! God. I'll just go about my work then. You do that, lady. You do that. Why is that open? You should go closer. Uh. Oh. When did that Someone else is going to have to do it. I mean, it's a switch. You can light it with your fist. Or your hand. Or just about anything else. Well, I'm gonna have to avoid the him like the plague, but oh, this I time I can do that. Thank you. His key is literally called Braxton. I don't like the light on. Okay. Just go about your merry day, okay? Please, dude, just leave. Didn't see nothing over here. I'm too smooth. Speaking of, too smooth. Some would call me a smooth criminal. Not many, but some. Oh yeah, there's nothing here. Braxton's key goes to the office? What? This is so confusing. Now he's just walking back and forth like a crazy person. So, there might be secret recordings if they have the whole wax cylinder thing. I'm not gonna bother playing it. Not going to be reading that. Acquired Zelmer. Okay. Got the hat you got there. Okay, your, 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 your keys? God damn. <laughs> your glasses worth anything? Nope, they're not. I forgot the artwork. What the hell is wrong with me? And I call myself a thief.
Oh, I already got that one. I just missed that artwork. Gotcha. It's a weird statue to have in here. Hmm. I always wondered why that was never a potion. Maybe like slow fall or something like that. Looks so fancy. All right, let's get out of here. Guest room keys. I've got two of those so far. Are you a guest? There are those. What is this? A noise. So there are those. What is this? Do you need me to open it? I do apologize if I took your key. Are you personal security? Do my eyes deceive me? Yes, it does. I didn't realize that I was in front of the Is light. that some... <gasps> no. Did I already get into the... Musician's room? Are you literally guarding him at the foot of his bed? Let's drop you down here. Hmm. Ha! Ah, there we go. A path through the darkness in the light. What you got there? Three guest keys. Well, better to have extras, I guess. Uh, I should probably put you over there in case somebody comes back. So I'm assuming this is the musician's... Huh? Ooh, the musician's suite. This extra security, but I could be wrong, and it could be the Queen's. This could be the Queen's petticoat that I'm looking up right now. Not that I would ever purposely do such a thing. Just accidentally take a photo and sell it online. That's creepy. I, I regret even saying that. Oh my lord, look at all this. Look at all this. There we go. Take that too. Thank you. Sorry, but I've got to take it all. It's this compulsion I have of wanting to be rich. When it rains, it pours for sure. This is a big empty ass bathroom. Hi. Big empty ass bathroom. Is there a bucket here? I guess the... Oh, I thought that was, that was a letter. I guess that's to... Uh, it's just... Because they're rich? I don't know. I guess. Oh, I thought I highlighted the... Oop. No. I thought I highlighted the... Um, paint... Not the painting, the... Wow! My brain has completely gone to mush. So this wasn't the musician's room. I hate it when that happens. Nice. I guess they put it on display? But oh, crap. Yeah. In all fairness, I... I keep forgetting to save. Of all things, I keep forgetting to save. Yeah, I did... I completely redid my entire office. And thought it was a good idea to record. Obviously, it was not. That's <sighs> You're an odd face. You know that? You're an odd face. Some would call you an odd duck. I would call you an odd face. Don't know what that means, but I would call you that. Oh, I didn't even see that. Hmm. 
And in there, right? Over in there. Bam. Yeah, obviously it wasn't a good idea because I can't think straight right now. Maybe if I smack myself in the face a little bit, I'll get better. The scene is how those cylinders were so rare. Maybe I should be taking those. You know. How are you doing, sir? Don't mind me as I glide across the carpet. <laughs> it's like I'm a professional or something. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been here another another dive. This is my second go at this, so I don't feel bad. I know more than you do. Not that that changed anything the last go around. You stay right there. Madam, again, very fancy petticoat you got there. But don't worry, I am not interested in that. Just your valuables. Yep. I clam on top of the damn thing. Also, uh, around your neck. Gotta, I guess. Sorry, you had something on your face there. I had to get it for you. Oh, I, ooh, there we go. I don't think I got that last time. There we go. And we're all caught up with a F5 for good measure. Should have done that last time. Hi. About to nod off there. Here, let me help you. How? What? Hi, let's what? get this over. <sighs> I got it over with a long time ago, dude. You have no idea. My dude, I was done with it when I first started. And then you leave this time. Okay. Sure, whatever. What you got there? There you go. Should probably wake up. Cause you're supposed to be garden. And everybody's still fucking here. The hell is this? These are the guard or guards room. I guess these are the servants quarters. Yeah, it's all crap for some odd reason. Checkers, you? Yeah, play checkers. Why is there? Okay. Hmm. Nothing but garbage. 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 Gar garbage. Oh, oh, that's soap. I didn't know what that was for a minute. Ma'am, can you help me? Just time for a break, okay? Time for a break. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, you were about to eat. Well, it'll be cold, but it'll still be here for you when you wake up. Wish it wasn't made of metal and I'd probably use it more. I may still, but not right now. All right. You probably worked real hard for this, but I need it because I hate this place. So, yeah. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag. Signing off. Oh, God. Uh. Oh.
close the damn door, please. Oh god, it scared the crap out of me. Wasn't expecting that. Come in. I mean, don't come in. 